Hey guys, thanks for joining me tonight. I'm Spagabber, this is Spagabber Backpacking, and tonight we are back for another installment of the Stove Test Series. And tonight what we'll be looking at is this stove right here. Cool little design stove. Uh, this one is from My Survival Pack, and it's called the Core Alcohol Stove. And we are going to be testing this thing out tonight, putting it through its paces, using the same protocols we've used on all the other Stove Test Series videos. So why don't we go ahead and jump right into this. Let's go. All right, welcome back. So we're gonna get this thing going. We've got the stove here. It weighs 45.2 grams. And so it's not one of the lightest ones out there, but it's also not one of the heaviest. And it's kind of a unique design. It's something you uh, you don't see every day. It actually comes apart. So all these pieces kind of come off of it. You put it together. And so it stores down flat into its own storage pouch, which I have laying over here, uh, except for the little case part of it. But it does fold down pretty flat regardless. Hey, just a little request for those of you guys out there watching this. If you've been watching this series for any length of time, or if you're just now jumping in, I would ask that you go down below, hit that subscribe button, and then right next to it, there's a little bell icon. If you click on that, you'll get notifications every time I do one of these videos. So I would appreciate it if you would do that. Also, comments, feedback are always welcome down below. So why don't we get this thing going? I've got the 12 ounces of water. If you guys wonder why I'm using 12 ounces of water, go back to the protocols video and you'll see why. And I have the one ounce of fuel right here. So let's get this thing fueled up, get it going. The water is sitting right at 60 degrees. So real nice baseline right there. I'm gonna go ahead and pour the fuel in to this stove. Did spill just a little bit. Now one of the cool things about this stove is if you look on the sides, there is this little slot right here. You can push down the top and adjust how much of that slot is, is open. Uh, if you close it all the way, it's gonna be more towards the simmer and it's gonna burn longer. And if you open it up wide, which it's open as wide as it'll go right now, uh, it's gonna be the fastest, hottest burn. So why don't we get this thing lit up, get it going, and uh, see what it does. So here we go. I'm actually going to put the pot right on top, get everything kind of set up here. Ah, bear with me as I have a little tangle. All right. Okay, so I'm just going to leave that right on top. Give this thing a second to make sure it's lit. It's good. I'm going to hit start and we'll come back and see what this thing does. Okay, here is the burn pattern for this stove. You can see it puts out a pretty big flame and it looks like it's burning pretty hot. Okay, we're coming up on there is 200 degrees at three minutes, 30 seconds with the Toke 700. Climbing fast. And there's a boil at three minutes, 45 seconds, 345 with the Toke 700. Okay, the flames are definitely starting to die down. Getting much smaller now. They're pretty hard to see. I'm gonna call that burnout right there at 6.45. So 6.45 burnout. Okay, so we've got it fueled back up. We've got the water in here sitting right at 60 degrees. We're gonna go ahead and light this and start the timer. It is lit, pot's going on, timer is started. So we'll come back and see what this one does for a boil. There's 200 degrees and it is climbing fast. Two oh nine at three minutes fifty seconds. Three minutes fifty seconds for a boil with the five fifty. Okay, the flames are definitely starting to die down. Still coming out, still there. 
but definitely getting smaller. Still holding a pretty good temperature. And I'm gonna call that flame out right there at six minutes, 40 seconds. Okay, so far this thing has performed really well, but this one's gonna be an odd test because this is such a small pot and this thing puts out such a large flame that I'm not sure how well it's gonna, gonna catch it there. I think a lot of the flame's gonna come up around it. So we will see. So why don't we get this thing started? I've got it fueled up. I've got the water in here. It looks like we're sitting at 58 degrees, so it's dropped a little bit sitting out here. But we're still gonna go with this test. And uh, well, let's see. Let's get it started. Good start. Get it on there. And you guys can see uh, even the, the pot supports just come out a little bit further. Hit start on there and we'll see what it does. Come on back. Not sure how well you can see this here, but the flames are actually <laughs> coming up over the top of this thing. I mean, over the top of this this pot. All right, we're past 200 degrees, just over four minutes. Even with this smaller stove, it is performing pretty well. Take the top off of there. And there's 209 at 430, right at four minutes, 30 seconds for this. Okay, the flames are definitely starting to die down. Still holding that boil right there but it's definitely dying. And I'm gonna call that burnout right there at 644, six minutes, 44 seconds. Wow, what a good performer. I knew that this thing was going to perform well, just based on some of the comments, some of the questions that I had seen out there about it. Like I said, it does pack down pretty small. You know, it comes apart. It's got a nice base that makes it stable. This just fits down in there, and then it's got the pot stand that goes inside that comes apart. So this whole thing comes apart into pieces, and so you can really pack it down, and uh, you know these can fit down inside, whatever. But you can pack it down and store it away pretty easily. It comes with this little, well, you can buy this uh, storage pouch with it. So let's talk about the numbers. Three minutes, 45 seconds. That is almost 30 seconds faster than the next fastest boil time. Now that comes with a price. The longest it burned was six minutes and 45 seconds. And really, all three of the burns, it was within five seconds on that burnout. So really a, a strong performer if you're looking for something fast. Not quite as fuel efficient as some of the other ones out there, but sometimes you have to make some sacrifices if you want that speed. So let's go ahead and take a leak. <laughs> let's go ahead and take a look at the leaderboard. The leaderboard, as it currently stands, is filling up with some great choices out there. All right, so let's take a look. Fastest Boil has a new leader. Like I said, almost 30 seconds faster is the MSP Core. That's my survival pack. The Core Alcohol Stove. Three minutes, 45 seconds on the Toke 700. Now, like I mentioned, that does come at a penalty. So it has the shortest burn of any of the stoves tested so far at 645, and it has the most fuel used at 0.56 of an ounce. All right, so there you go, guys. That was the MSP Core Alcohol Stove. I've got it broken down right now. It goes together real easy. But if you're looking for a fast one, that might be the one you're looking for. Now you're gonna have to carry a little bit more alcohol out on the trips, but it may be worth it. And it does come with a little bit of a penalty in the weight, and it's 45.2 grams, but that's still lower than some of the lightest canister stoves out there. Now, for the next test, I will be testing my little homemade mini atomic, kind of like a penny stove type deal. Uh, I've got a screw in here where the fill port is. I've got some wicking material around there. But for the following test, so after I test that stove, I want your opinions. I wanna know what you guys wanna see. So I have a new little burner here. All three of these are burners. So I'm gonna give you guys the option. This is the new Pop Starlight. So that's a new Pop Starlight from Zelf. I've got the Turbo Gnome from Mini Bowl Design. 
And I've got one of the other burners that I got from Storm and Stoves over there in the UK. So uh, let me know which one you guys want to see. So Storm and Stoves, Turbo Gnome, or Starlight Pop. Comment down below with your choice of these three stoves. And the one with the most votes as of the airing or the video of this Mini Atomic is the one that I'm going to announce. I appreciate you guys checking in. Again, if you like this channel, make sure you go down below, hit that subscribe button. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you didn't like it, go ahead and give it a thumbs down. Hey, I like your opinion. Give it to me. All right, guys, I will see you down the trail.